This is a South African 24-hour ration pack, or also dubbed the Rat Pack. Now it weighs three pounds, nine ounces, or approximately 1,600 grams. This ration comes in eight different menus, 12 come to a case, with duplicates of menus five, six, seven, and eight. This is chicken biryani. It was produced 2018 and it expires 2019. It has a one year shelf life. So let's give it a look. All right, so right off the bat here, we've got our main course. It's just wrapped in this paper pack here. It's a 300 gram portion. Got a box of matches. A strawberry high energy instant porridge. It's an 80 gram portion. A vanilla flavored lactose free nutritional shake, which, oh yeah, that's got a hole in it. That's just an opening at the top. It wasn't really properly sealed. It seems like it's already delaminating as well. Tropical flavored isotonic sports drink. And this is a, a fruit roll. You get two of them. Some nut butter. Let's see what that is. That's peanuts, cocoa mass, hazelnut paste. Noodle snack. Vegetable batch is what that's called. We'll find out what that is. Pack of fuel tablets. Vacuum sealed pack of biscuits. You get actually four packs of fuel tablets and what looks to be a bunch of packs of creamer so far there are five packs of creamer a peach flavored isotonic beverage base got a pack of rooibos tea two tubes of processed cheddar cheese that's just like an old rat packs it's holding true to this also that porridge the only difference between this and that old rat pack I checked out the early part of the channel was that one had canned mains. This is a energy bar, chocolate nut. Two packs of instant coffee. Oh yeah, it says halal. Everything's halal certified. You get four packs. Actually, wow. You get a lot of sugar. There are six packs of sugar. You get an assortment of Super C hard candies. A tomato sauce and fruit chutney. Maize pap. So that's like cornmeal, starch. And then the other main course here. Mutton stew, 200 gram main. And then at the bottom, you get these little plastic bags. These are all purpose. You could mix your porridge or beverage base in these if you were in a pinch. If you had no other vessel for them. I'm just gonna set these over here. I don't need to use them, but still pretty handy. And then looks like you get five chloroflock water purification powder. That, that treats one liter each pack. So you get enough water purification to treat five liters. A pack of salt, and then five packs of menthol sugar-free chewing gum. All right, so there it is. Let's first start off with breakfast. Okay, and for breakfast, we're gonna be starting the day off right with some strawberry-flavored high-energy instant porridge, some nut butter and processed cheddar cheese to go along with those biscuits, a fruit roll, some coffee, a vanilla flavored lactose free nutritional shake, and some super C hard candies. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so we're gonna first start off with that coffee. Not much of a smell to it. Doesn't smell like anything.
Okay, and then the instant porridge. This says add sugar and creamer to taste. There was a tear notch on the coffee, but not this. Wow, you'd need a knife. Very inconvenient. Look at all the clumps. I'm gonna let that soak for a minute. We'll check out this nutritional shake. Also, no tear notch anywhere. Some of the least efficient packaging so far that I've ever seen in a ration. It's a no wonder it has a one year shelf life. Just a somewhat dull vanilla smell to it. Okay, and then the fruit roll. Smells sour, like in a kind of pukey sour. Look at those. And then the biscuits. Wow, look at those. They maintain their shape. That's, that's a good thing. Oh, and they smell great. Like a oat, shortening, a little bit sweet, slight like cinnamon, almost like a graham cracker kind of deal. Might as well open up the strawberry hard candy that's right next to it. Oh wow, look at that thing. And then the granadilla flavored. Processed cheese. Yeah, this was in rat packs even back in the 80s. The Rat Packs have been in service for decades. Try this out first. Wow, it's not very sharp. Cheddar. Almost forgot about the nut butter. That there just tastes like kind of creamy processed cheese. Nothing. I mean, MRE cheese has a lot more flavor to it for being almost like a resembling cheddar type thing. Wow, wait a second. Look at this. MRE and some mountains in the background. That's cool. It just reminds me of MRE Mountain. He should be getting some of these. He sent me a picture of a sample he got. I don't know where he got his, but I picked up a case of 12 from this company called Cerberus Tactical out in South Africa. And I got it shipped airmail and to the ground. So it cost $695, $695 shipped for 12. But that got here in a month and a week. If it with shipped ground, it probably would have been like three months, at least two, and you're at risk for heat stress, and your rations could get kind of messed up. For review, I want to give a good accurate reading of what these really are. Wow, check that out. Oh, that smells awesome. I gotta try some of this on its own. This is incredible. It's a lot like Nutella, but because there's peanut butter, it's a little less sweet than Nutella. Just take creamy peanut butter and mix it 50-50 with Nutella. This is what that tastes like. I gotta check out this coffee. Whoa, that doesn't taste like any, that tastes like water. This is the most boring coffee, instant coffee I've ever had. And that looked like a spray dried, so I'm glad I didn't add any creamer or sugar to it. If you don't like coffee, because of the flavor, you'd probably like that. Okay, actually I gotta try this biscuit on its own. Hmm, seems to have a fair amount of roughage. It smells much sweeter than it really is, and I actually don't taste any cinnamon. It just, it smells a lot more exciting than it really is. It's just a coarse oat biscuit with shortening. But look how clumpy this is. I thought letting it settle would maybe help. It doesn't. 
Oh, that's unusual. It doesn't mix well. I put it in some really hot water, so again, kind of strange. Hmm. That's somewhat disappointing. A very artificial strawberry flavor, like the kind of artificial strawberry you'd get in a cheap strawberry shake. Speaking of shake, let's check out the vanilla shake. Oh, that's really gritty. It's like a gritty, foamy top to it. The drink itself, I mean, gotta get your calorie content. This has cornstarch, soy protein, and vegetable fat. It's it's not anything to write home to mom about, I'll say that. So then the fruit roll. That's a nice color to it. Thankfully, it tastes a lot better than it smells. It has this coarse ground sugar on the outside that gives it a little bit of a crunch. Okay, this, that tastes like apricots with a fair amount of citric acid in it. It's not bad. So then this, that peanut butter and hazelnut butter on a biscuit. Mmm. So far, this is, this is the best component, followed up by the fruit roll. That nut butter, nice name. It goes perfectly with this biscuit and really brings out the shortening flavor of the biscuit and really does a lot for it. Without the spread, I would say the biscuit's somewhat bland and disappointing. Probably good for dunking in the coffee, although the coffee tastes like nothing, really, which actually. I've never had coffee that's that bland. I think it'd be good with, both packs would be good with like four ounces. Then it tastes like real coffee. This tastes like something that, if you're not a coffee drinker, it's, you know, drinkable. So then the porridge. It's weird. It doesn't mix right. The strawberry flavor. It really doesn't work for porridge, in my opinion. Yeah, that's... Wow. Okay, then the... Then the cheese on biscuits. That's not bad. It's an overly creamy and processed, very mild cheddar cheese on a biscuit with some roughage, so... You get a nice texture balance, and there's just no sharpness whatsoever to that cheddar and unless you like nearly flavorless cheese i mean it, it leaves something to be desired the vanilla shake's not too bad i mean you gotta get your protein and fat and this has it it's perfect for breakfast and I mean, I'd just chase this down real quick. So then the, the fruit roll. You know what that is? I think that's peaches or it's apricot or something, but it smells like that. That's pretty natural. You know, that's not too bad. But then there's food coloring. I know that's food coloring. The way it's standing there, that's like a, I could draw with this thing. So the flavor, yeah, I think it's peaches and apricots and like a citric acid to make it a little bit more tart. So then the Granadilla vitamin C hard candy. Hmm, that tastes a lot like a passion fruit flavor, but probably not natural. I'm not 100% sure. And this I think is strawberry. That strawberry still tastes a little less artificial than, than this. Yeah, that, that porridge, it never mixed. Look at all the clumps. I don't know what to say about the porridge. I'll go back over to this. Change out one really artificial flavored strawberry for a, just a slightly artificial. Yeah, breakfast, it was kind of a mixed bag. I mean, other than that strawberry porridge not mixing so well and the coffee being near, nearly flavorless and you know, that was not too bad. So that'll hold me over for about three or four hours till I come back with lunch. Okay, and we're back with lunch. Our main course is gonna be that 300 gram portion of chicken biryani. Got some fruit chutney and tomato sauce to go along with it. A chocolate nut energy bar. Rooibos tea. A pack of noodle snack. And a peach flavored isotonic sports drink. 
All right, so let's get sat onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna first start off with that rooibos or rooibos, whichever tea. Mmm, that smells so unique and different. It's just a very earthy, woodsy kind of smell. Gonna skip the sugar for this one. Go ahead and check out this noodle snack. I immediately smell onion, celery, I can't tell what else. Then the isotonic peach. Wow, that's a strong peach smell. Pretty artificial. Oh yeah, speaking of artificial, check this out. Artificial sweeteners. Sodium cyclamate, sodium saccharin. So there's two sweeteners there. That chewing gum probably has aspartame and acetylene K. So then the chocolate nut energy bar. Oh wow, sorbitol. So yeah, there, there are at least four and maybe five sweeteners between all the different components in this ration. That's like a record. Wow, that thing is dense. And then the chicken biryani. I boiled this in the pouch for about five or six minutes. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Hmm, that's a nice yellow curry smell. Oh yeah, so then I'm gonna start off with this main course. That is outstanding. It actually has a fair amount of spice to it. Are those little lentils? I think so. Hmm. The chicken, it's not too dry and it doesn't seem overly processed. That, that is quality right there. It's not like processed and reformed. It has a nice yellow curry and a fair amount of sodium and it's very savory. Keep going back for more. There's a generous amount of chicken in there. I'm followed up with this. Oh, geez, that's overpowering. This peach drink doesn't taste all that natural. All artificial. At least you're getting your electrolytes. You know, in South Africa, it's super hot. The climate, you're gonna be losing a lot of fluids. That's important. That's why they include all those little packs of water purification. You're gonna need them. So then the soup in a cup. Yeah, it's like a noodle soup. Oh wow, hey, this also just bursting with flavor. The, um, that savory addition with the MSG. Oh yeah, this is some decadent savory soup. The noodles add a little bit of texture. They're not overly soft. So then the, the rooibos or rooibos, not 100% sure on the proper pronunciation, but look at that. some bush tea. That's so nice and different. Just like how it smells, it's this woodsy, kind of like a, a pine wood sort of smell and flavor with, with an earthy, light honey caramel note. Even though it's not sweetened, it doesn't need sugar. And I'm gonna leave that tea bag in there. I don't even care if it's too strong. I love that flavor. That's something completely different. The chutney, give this a look. Actually, I wanna see what it's like on its own. Hmm, it's very lightly sweet. Tastes like, like a light amount of peaches. And that's about it, which is various like thickeners. I'm gonna add this to here. A little extra flavor dimension. They don't give you much of it. Just enough for like a half portion of your main course. That's all right. I'm gonna hold back on the tomato sauce. Might need this for dinner. 
fold this in a little bit. Yeah, the chunks of chicken. Some of the best I've ever seen in a retort pouch main course out of a ration. That's definite points up. Well, the chutney it gets completely lost in that curry. Perhaps it would have been better with the mutton stew. No big deal. I don't even taste the peach anymore out of that chutney. But again, it's okay. Oh, wow. Those are raisins in there. Look at that. There's a raisin. Chunks of chicken, not overly processed, not too dry, perfectly cooked. This right here, extremely enjoyable. I think the noodle snack soup, best to just drink it right out of the cup. I almost forgot about this energy bar. It smells pretty strong of cocoa. Hmm. I was a little apprehensive. It didn't seem like it'd be that safe to chew into. It's like really dense and hard, you know? Yeah, it's not too bad. A strong cocoa flavor. It's not too sweet. You know, it's the kind of thing you'll probably be best off just snacking on the go. Probably best between breakfast and lunch. In between meals here, I'm gonna finish up this energy bar. Then we'll take it over to dinner. Okay, and for dinner, our main course is going to be that mutton stew. Gonna have that maize pap to go along with it. Some processed cheese for good measure and tomato sauce just in case. Tropical isotonic sports drink. Another one of those super C candies. And some chewing gum. All right, so let's get this out on a tray. Nice, okay, so we're first start off with that. Isotonic sports drink, tropical. Let's see if I can open this without a tear. Hey, look at, there's a tear notch. Right there. Were they there the whole time? I don't know. Whoa, that is so strong. Of like a pungent artificial papaya. I guess it's going to be that maize pap. Let's see what this is like. Oh, wow. Look at that. It smells like watery nothing with some undertone of, of corn. All right, and then the mutton stew. You know, I almost want to try a little bit of this on its own. Just to say I did. It tastes like grits with nothing on them. Like they could use butter and salt and maybe some kind of sauce or something and it would be pretty good. But just on its own, it's just simply a starch base. I think it's perfect for this because this seems kind of watery. Wow, that smells like a rich brown gravy. Not bad. It seems like it was the perfect combination there. A little of this mutton stew on its own. Hmm, that needs the salt. Just on its own, just a very basic savory flavor that's like a, a light brown gravy. It smells richer than it tastes. The mutton has a somewhat chewy yet still tender texture to it. This here, it's it's still pretty interesting having um, sheep as your meat instead of beef. It's definitely a similar texture to beef. Yeah, it goes really well with this maize pap. It seems like having a somewhat watery beef stew with grits. That's the closest way I could compare this. The gravy. Taste a little bit of onion and nothing more. No garlic, nothing that's really going to add any fantastic, like notable flavor. It's like comfort food that you would have going to your grandparents' house and they whip up something and because they 
can't really put much in the way of spice in there because they get indigestion easily. This is what you get, which isn't bad. You know, it's, like I said, it's comfort food. Easy to eat. There isn't very much fat. No grizzle or anything like that. Tomato sauce. Let's see what this is like. Oh, no, I'm not going to add any of that. That's like, that's like watered down imitation ketchup almost. That's just, that tastes nothing like any other ketchup I've ever had. Hold on, let me just try it again, just to, maybe with one bite. I'm somewhat disappointed by these sauces. They lack flavor. There's not much to them. And it seems like they don't really even do anything for the food, but we'll see. Strange. Even that fair amount of ketchup there did nothing for it. I think the salt is all it needs. Might as well go ahead and give this a, a little try. There's something kind of sebaceous about the way that comes out. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, cheese is so nearly flavorless that again, it just gets lost in this. It doesn't do anything. It maybe adds a little bit of a creamy background. And perhaps by utilizing all your calorie content in the ration, it'd be the way to go. These go hand in hand. I'm glad there's a starch that you can put with this mutton. You know, I haven't even tried this tropical drink yet. Wow. I think the peach one's better. That tastes like artificial papaya and, again, overladen with sweeteners. Sodium cyclamate, sodium saccharin. Yet, you get five somewhat large packs of sugar in the ration. And then there's the lactose-free drink, but you get the cheese. The mains are great in this ration. I'm not gonna say this one's bad. It's still worth buying, and it's still worth trying out. I haven't tried out the other menus. Stimerol Hall's Air Rush Menthol Sugar-Free Gum. Oh. Oh, they aren't kidding when they say Hall's Menthol Air Rush. There are just fumes of menthol coming out my nose. Oh, I had to spit that out. I was making my eyes water. So that's a South African ration. That's what these things are like. Is it worth getting? Definitely. If you're into rations, this is one you got to check off the bucket list anyway, just to say you did at the very least. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. They're old. Alright, cool. See ya.